I think the key point of what's happening in the field is that the impact of minimal residual leaching is in achieving a molecular CR, and we have the tools finally to do so, and in treating for a definite period of time, achieving a CR so that you can stop therapy and it will have an important aspect on cost control as well. The combination of novel therapy that will be very important, both to before chemotherapy to reduce number cycle of chemotherapy potentially, post chemotherapy as a maintenance, or in the year of chemotherapy in patients who are not chemotherapy candidate. So I think there's a lot of novel options.